Hello again and happy Saturday afternoon local time from Metro Manila, the Philippines, Southeastern Asia. Today I've decided uh, as an educator to continue my educational videos and I'm going to uh, do a brief video series of several male killers who were young at the time of those murders. I start with Mr. Pekka Erik Auvinen, who was an 18 year old third year senior high school student in the town of Tuusula in Finland. Tuusula is a rural town located to the north of Helsinki, the Finnish capital. And he had already, uh, during his um, senior high school studies, been known for his extreme opinions, whether of extreme left or extreme right. And he had even um, either said or written somewhere on the internet that he would probably not uh, agree to uh, go to the army for the still officially compulsory military service or and i've even suggested that he would not even perform the civilian alternative service in other words he would be a so-called total refuser which in finland at the time carried a sentence uh, a jail sentence of six months he also expressed hatred and contempt for the humanity and especially of certain so-called inferior people. He expressed admiration in various internet writings of the already by then deceased Eric Harris and Dylan Klebold, two American teenagers who within uh, only a couple of months of their graduation from the Columbine High School in the Denver region of Colorado in Western United States murdered uh, 12 fellow students and one teacher before committing joint suicide. Mr. Alvinen had also expressed an admiration for national socialism and in, or Nazism and indeed his uh, YouTube channel or at least the main YouTube channel was called Sturmgeist 89 or attack or attacker spirit uh, 89 because he was born in 1989. He had apparently suffered from a certain degree of depression and from some bullying, uh, for example, because he used to carry a suitcase around instead of the uh, conventional backpack or rucksack uh, to school. And because of that, uh, some fellow students Usually other boys had made fun of him as like the gentleman or anyway, supposedly older man. His parents who were interviewed uh, several or many years after the murderous rampage obviously expressed a deep shock and regret at the fact that their son had uh, chosen to murder these fellow human beings and then kill himself. And then they regrettedly or regretfully expressed uh, their ignorance of their son's darker side, which of course, like uh, there are many teenagers nowadays in 2020 uh, who have a darker side <clears throat> of which their parents don't know much. There are a growing number of children inside and outside the Western countries, meaning European countries, North America, Australia, <clears throat> and New Zealand, who also have multiple identities that they don't want to share uh, with their parents or guardians, or they don't want to <clears throat> want their parents or guardians to know about such identities. And generally speaking, he seems to have had a somewhat antisocial personality, even at school. He murdered a total of nine fellow human beings before shooting himself fatally. He died a few hours later. Uh, they included seven fellow students, five male students, two female students, the school nurse, and even the school's principal, who happened to be a woman in her early 60s. And I was then doing a two-year substitute teaching job at a senior high school in the Helsinki region of southern Finland, but uh, in the city of Espo, not in the town of Tuusula. And 
when I, I was probably, yeah, I was in the teacher's room and then this news flash spread around the room and obviously it was a very, very sad event for all of us. And we were told to reassure our students that despite this murderous rampage, Finland is still one of the world's safest countries and that is true and remains to this day. So let's look at the Murderpedia article on Mr. Albinen to shed some more light on his brief and tragic life. This is from the BBC News uh, report on Wednesday, November the 7th, 2007. So the venue of shooting was about 50 kilometers north of the Finnish capital, Helsinki. Police responded to a call made at 9.44 GM Greenwich Mean Time or 11.44 AM Finnish time and made contact with the gunman when they arrived at the school 11 minutes later, said Mr. Timo Leppala, <clears throat> the officer in charge of the police operation. According to Mr. Leppala, police ordered him to surrender, to which he answered by shooting towards the police. He described a scene of chaos with students jumping from school windows and running for shelter as more police arrived. It is not clear when the gunman shot himself in the head. A spokeswoman for the Tusula rural town or municipality where the shooting took place said the gunman opened fire during a lesson at Jokela Senior High School, which has 400 or yeah, like a combination of junior high school and senior high school, which has 400 uh, students between 12 and 18 years of age. A teacher of school, Mr. Kim Kiuru, said the head teacher or principal, Mrs. Helena Kalami, announced over the school public announcement system just before <clears throat> noon local time that all students should remain in their classrooms. Mr. Kiuru stayed in the corridor to listen to more instructions, having locked his classroom door. After that, he saw the gunman running with what appeared to be a small caliber handgun in his hand through the doors toward him, after which he escaped to the corridor downstairs and ran in the opposite direction. It felt unreal. A student that he himself had taught was running towards him, screaming a pistol in his hand. Mr. Kiuru said he saw a woman's body as he fled the building, probably that of the murdered principal or then of the school nurse. The gunman had indeed posted a video online, actually on YouTube, specifically called the Jokela High School Massacre, November the 7th, 2007. November the 7th, incidentally, or on purpose, happened to be that year the 19th anniversary of the start of the Bolshevik Revolution or Communist Revolution in Russia when a group of Bolsheviks stormed the Winter Palace one of the traditional residences of the Russian emperors in St. Petersburg, which was then Russia's capital. The capital would soon uh, relocate to Moscow as Russia became Soviet Russia, and then later in 1920, the Soviet Union. Um, the video showed a picture of a building by a lake and photos of him holding a gun. Going by the username Sturmgeist, 89, he called himself a social Dar Darwinist who would eliminate all who he saw as unfit. Sturmgeist Geist means storm spirit or more freely translated attack or attacker spirit in German. The video obviously was removed uh, by YouTube. He also reportedly posted on another website a rambling manifesto in which he said death and killing is not a tragedy, not all human lives are important or worth saving, which, of course, showed his misanthropist and nihilist philosophy. Of course, certain fundamentalist Christians who strongly oppose any form of evolution, even the so-called theistic evolution, which tries to combine the world's creation account and strongly believes um, in the Christian tenet of faith that God has created everything, but uh, believes that God used evolution as his tool of creation, although he pre-planned and directed everything. 
then they would say that uh, this is what evolution, the teaching of evolution at schools does to certain students, although, of course, there were many other factors involved than his belief in evolution. And by the way, social Darwinism has been denounced by many supporters of the secular uh, form of evolutionism as being too merciless and uh, uncompassionate towards the less fortunate, like the poor. Especially those people who, despite the best of their attempts, have not been able to build a successful career, but who really want to work. Or who have been uh, burdened by having to care for sick, sick relatives and so forth. In his manifesto, Mr. Alvinen also wrote that he was acting alone and that nobody was to blame for his actions. This is my war, he wrote, one man's war against humanity, governments, and weak-minded masses of the world. Mr. Alvinen had reportedly 500 cartridges on him. Uh, this is from another updated BBC News report from Thursday, November the 8th, 2007. Thus far, 69, or until that day, 69 cartridge cases had been found in the school building. A police spokesman said, adding that all of the dead had been shot several times, so like over killing. Detective Superintendent Mr. Terro Hapala said Mr. Alvinen had apparently selected his victims at random. He told the Associated Press News Agency there is nothing that links him with the victims except that they attended the same school. And of course, uh, two of them worked otherwise there. One was the uh, principal and one was the school nurse. After the police surrounded the school building, Mr. Alvin and turned his weapon on himself and uh, shot himself fatally in the head. After a memorial service at the Helsinki Lutheran Cathedral, the Finnish president at the time, Mrs. Tarja Halonen, called on Finns to support each other in a day of sorrow. Then Prime Minister or Head of Government, Mr. Matti Vanhanen, described the shooting as a great tragedy. This is an awful day, Mr. Vanhanen was quoted as saying, the shooting has deeply undermined the sense of security in society. Nobody had expected such things. Following the incident, the Finnish government met in an emergency session to consider tightening its school security. Correspondents say that although gun ownership in Finland at the time was the third highest one in the world, incidents of this kind were and still are extremely rare in a country that prides itself on very low levels of violent crime and also on one of the world's strictest forms of gun control. Legally, it is notably more difficult to buy guns in Finland than, for example, in the United States. Also, for example, Canada, in North America, the, the United States northern neighbor, by the way, and the Philippines, where I now live, are among the uh, strictest countries in the world when it comes to gun control. Of course, it's possible to bypass it. it it's possible to illegally inherit or then steal uh, from uh, one's parents or other loved ones, guns or one's friends, or then to find guns that have been stored in an abandoned house, for example, or even an occupied one, and keep them illegally without a gun license. And of course, it's possible to smuggle them still, despite all the border controls, for example, by bribing the guards or by being extremely devious. And then uh, one of the most favorite forms of uh, the mass shooters nowadays to buy them online, on the internet, and to bypass those strict gun control measures. That is what Gabriel Wartman, a denturist who at the age of 51 in the second half of April 2020, during one Saturday evening or night and Sunday morning, killed, if I remember correctly, a total of 23 people in locations around um, Nova Scotia, one of Canada's eastern or Atlantic coast provinces. He was impersonating a police officer. He was dressed in a fake police uniform, and he had painted an otherwise a remodeled one of his cars to look like a police car so that it would be easier for him to commit those killings. And during one 
point he stopped to change his shirt, uh, which was captured by a police camera. Finally, late the, that morning, he was gunned down by a real uh, police officer of the Royal Canadian Mounted Police, which is Canada's federal police service. And because of the shortage of uh, qualified provincial uh, of police officers and because of low populations in most of the Canadian provinces, in six out of the ten provinces, the Royal Canadian Mounted Police also serves as the provincial police force. <sighs> Profile of Pekka Eric Alvin in the YouTube Killer by Alison Godfrey. November the 8th, 2007. Pekka Eric Alvin is sat among the chaos he had caused at Jokela High School, pressed a .22 caliber pistol against his skull and pulled the trigger. He had done what he had come to do. He had killed um, seven students, the school nurse and the uh, female principal in the small town of Tuusula in southern Finland. The killing spree came just hours after he had posted a final video on YouTube, the last chapter in a grim catalog that foreshadowed his daily intent. The 18-year-old student who was fascinated by Nazi and Stalinist ideologies, so at the same time, far-right and far-left ideologies, saw it as his job to rid the human race of failures of natural selection. In recent weeks before the shooting rampage, Mr. Alvin had posted several blogs and videos on the internet calling them the manifesto of a natural selector. Uh, the teenager railed against society and said he no longer wanted to be a part of it and predicted killing people. I cannot say that I am of the same race as this miserable, arrogant, and selfish human race. No, I have evolved a step higher, he wrote on one blog, and this paralleled and perhaps even mimicked, imitated what Eric Harris, the chief killer of the two Columbine killers, wrote it that uh, they, uh, he and his murderous friend Dylan Klebold had supposedly become superhuman and then justified these murderous plans, which they carried out as far as killing people was concerned, although they killed a lot fewer people than predicted or than they had hoped uh, nat as by natural selection. Mm -hmm. Of course, ready fodder for those young earth creationists, fundamentalist Christians who claim that evolution in any form is dangerous and can result in these violent uh, homicidal slash suicidal acts. He uploaded a selection of scenes from Schindler's List in which Jews were tortured and killed, a tribute to Columbine killers Eric Harris and Dylan Klebold, and a post glorifying the last days of the Twin Towers, uh, which collapsed uh, as a result of uh, two American jet airliners being crashed into them, uh, piloted by uh, suicidal Al-Qaeda terrorists. In a video called Me and My Gun, Catherine point twenty two LR semi-automatic Sieg Sauer Mosquito, I love her, uh, Alvin and aimed the weapon directly at the camera, and just days ago, or days before the massacre, he uploaded a film of himself using apples for target practice in a forest. Mr. Alvin and his friend, friends did say that he began to draw pictures involving guns and seemed disturbed. But when they asked him about his strange behavior, the gunman lied. He was joking. Online, however, Alvin had left little doubt of his intentions. Well, uh, ready parallels between himself and then Eric Harris and Dylan Klebold. They, too, uh, were able to hide this murderous side from their parents until it was too late to stop them. Wearing a shirt proclaiming, Humanity is overrated. Mr. Alvin told the world of his plan to murder those he saw as unfit disgraces of human race. Sturmgeist uh, 89, the last YouTube post entitled Jokela High School Massacre 11-7-2007, showed a still photo of a low building that appeared to be the Jokela High School. <clears throat> One of the survivors of the massacre, Mr. Tuomas Hulkonen, who at the time was studying at Jokela High School and had known uh, Mr. Alvinen for 10 years, said that in recent days 
he had acted bizarrely drawing pictures of guns and extreme violence. Said Mr. Hulkonen, it's pretty hard to digest this equation when a guy you know does something like this. But police chief Mr. Matti Tohkonen said the gunman was from an ordinary family, belonged to a gun club and got a license for his pistol just two weeks before the shooting. A teacher at Jokela High School said the killer had become increasingly radical in recent months, developing a fascination with Nazi and Stalinist ideologies. And there was grief and disbelief in Finland after the school massacre, according to Agence France Presse or uh, French uh, press agency. When his 20-minute shooting rampage was over, five boys between 16 and 18, the 61-year-old uh, female school principal, the 42-year-old female school nurse, and uh, a 25-year-old single mother who was taking an adult training class at the school were dead. All of them with multiple gunshot wounds to the head and upper body. Twelve people were injured in the attack, most of them suffering cuts from broken window panes as they frantically jumped out of windows to escape the rain of bullets, uh, but were released uh, shortly thereafter from the hospital. The local police said that Mr. Alvinen had also tried to set a second floor corridor on fire using an unidentified inflammable liquid before shooting himself in the head in a bathroom near the school cafeteria, which then resulted in, in his death in a hospital a few hours later. In the attack, information clearly detailed his intentions. Target Jokela High School students and faculty, society, humanity, human race, attack type, mass murder, political terrorism. Too bad that his threats were not taken seriously online before it was too late to stop him. I mean, if police officers had been tipped even a day earlier and they had taken it seriously, they would have arrested Mr. Alvinen at his home uh, before he left uh, his home for the last time um, to commit this massacre. And he would have been charged with planned murders. And despite being a young person with no previous known criminal record, he would have faced probably at least several years of incarceration. And given his uh, deeply troubled mental condition, he would probably have been locked up in a mental hospital or mental ward uh, even for years afterwards. Uh, well, I can say that the last months of my employment at that uh, senior high school in Espo, I think month was in March 2009, there was an information session in the school's auditorium for uh, either some or all teachers of the senior high school and of the junior high school that also uh, was in studying and working and teaching uh, in the same building um, about security at Finnish schools. And according to whoever uh, held the information session for us, in the one year and four months that had passed since the Jokela Senior High School Massacre, a total of almost 300 school threats had been reported to the Finnish police. According to the police officers' investigations, only nine of them were to be taken seriously. So a great majority were probably caused by a combination of the desire to get attention, to bend one's anger and frustration without having any serious plans to kill or murder anyone, or a wicked sense of humor, desire to get publicity, which is so common nowadays on the days of the internet, uh, well, according to an exaggerated proverb, almost anyone wants to get his or her 30 seconds or uh, a few minutes in the sun on the internet, like here on YouTube, to have one's videos or at least one video become viral and so forth. Although I chose the school as target, he continued, my motives for the attack are political and much, much deeper, and therefore I don't want this to be called only as school shooting, he added in the message, which was rapidly removed from the site after attack. Several of the 18-year-old uh, killers or murderers, classmates and teachers described a brilliant but complex loner 
obsessed with weapons, internet war games, and revolutionary history, who was often bullied and tormented. Students said the perpetrator of one of the worst tragedies in recent Finnish history, but however, some uh, ten and a half months later in late um, September 2008, uh, there would be one more victim caused by hospitality student Mr. Matti Saari in Western Finland. Had made no secret of his admiration for the Nazi German dictator Hitler and for the Soviet communist dictator Stalin, and had been taking antidepressant medications, something police refused to comment on. Alvin and even left a suicide note for his family that had been handed over to police. Jokela, which was the village, uh, one of the settlements of the town of Tuusula, with narrow roads, is a typical Finnish a country village with a couple of grocery stores, a gas station, a convenience store, and two pubs. Although many people commute to work in Helsinki, uh, which is only 50 kilometers away, or the Helsinki center anyway, under half an hour's trade right away, it, well, it has a vibrant community life and a young, growing population. Indeed, in Finland, in recent decades, there has been a phenomenon of people moving from big cities like Helsinki, Uh, to smaller ones or even rural ones, uh, which are within uh, an easy commuting distance uh, from uh, the cities where they work. In 1989, I remember this incident. I was living in Canada as an immigrant at the time. A 14-year-old boy in Finland killed two fellow boys uh, in his class over alleged bullying in a school shooting. Uh, Mr. Alvinen's <coughs> father used to play guitar with Finnish rock legend Albert Järvinen, whose band The Hurricanes uh, is the subject of a popular movie in Finland. Mr. Alvinen, the first of two sons, was described in the Finnish media as a straight-A student who was attracted to extreme political views. His friends noticed a change in his behavior weeks before the shooting and warned the principal about him, local newspapers said, citing unidentified classmates. He got a permit, however, to carry a gun on October the 19th, so under three weeks before the shooting, according to the public sector Finnish broadcaster YLE. The authorities knew the killer's background, said the Finnish president at the time, Mrs. Tarja Halonen, and they should have acted on the knowledge. Tuusula is still largely countryside. Its roads plunge into virgin pine forest, offering families the chance to build a house on their own land while still remaining within an easy commute of Helsinki. The Jokela school remained cordoned off by police and, and soldiers as people left candles nearby. The church where students waited for the attack to be over was open around the clock as a crisis center. You can use this video if you so wish for educational purposes. May God bless and protect all of you.